Hey y'all, this is Crookalicious checking in today, and this is episode number 11, if I'm not mistaken. I've been playing a lot on my own, and the time has finally come. War. With France. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a lot of things have happened, actually, since I recorded last. The Rebecca that I tried to court completely disowned me, so I started courting another Rebecca here in Dublin. So Arthur Evans is actually doing a lot better with this this uh, great woman over there in Dublin, uh, Irish. So we're trying to uh, get in better relations with the father in order to actually advance that relationship. We'll see how that goes. But regardless, we are at war. I am so pumped. I am thrilled. Arthur Evans is ready. He hasn't named everybody yet because he was just playing a lot on his own. But those names will come by next turn. I know I keep saying that, but they will come, guys. They will come. I just wanted to record that part right there to say, hey, we're at war finally. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get to this. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so I also bought another Enterprise as well. I've been building relations with John Hope and the King. Um, we are improving a lot. Um, we're making about 400 per week now. Um, off of enterprises and other things like that. Who's that? Um, anyways, let's uh, go over to John Hope. And the other quest right here for Six Foot Guards is to actually build relations with the father of the other Rebecca in Dublin. So anyways, I'm excited about that. Anyway, Sir John Hope has requested um, us to come over to him. Last time he was heard about, he was in Galloway. So let's uh, go over to Galloway. Man, everybody loves going over to Ireland. Apparently that's the place to be. Is that the place to be, guys? Because they keep going over there. Apparently it is. Anybody from Ireland on here? Okay, there is Sir John Hope. Okay, good sir. We have some hardened soldiers and we're ready to fight with ya. Oh, the time has come, guys. Alright, let's just uh, sit here and wait for them a little bit. Okay, there we go. Gonna turn the camera real quick. Hopefully we're going straight to France. Oh, we are. We're going to France, guys. This is war. Oh. Alright, got another task that we need to do. I hate doing these, but you know what? It builds relations with the marshal. So I'm okay with that. I know I'm trying to get to you. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Arthur Evans, scout the area. We're looking for uh, information. They want us to go to. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's see how risky this might be. Okay. So they want us to go to Napoleonville, and what was the other place? Brest, and then Sherlock. So let's uh, go on down there. Wait, where's the other place? All right, over here. We can do that. We can do that pretty easily. Okay, we'll scout out right here. How is this battle going? Not too well. Okay. So I think I got this place scouted out. Yep. And I'm getting followed. It looks like... No, they're just traveling. Either way, we, we want to keep in front of them. Okay. Napoleonville is scouted. Now, this is probably the most risky of all of them. But Sir John Hope's actually going this way too, which is kind of funny because it's like you guys told me to go out and scout, and here you guys are. Okay. Would it be considered scouted yet? Yeah, let's go over to John Hope then. All right. Simple task, sir. Simple task, sir. Arthur Evans can do a lot of great things, guys. So, still working on it. Okay. Now it looks like we're raiding this uh, village right here, so I'm just going to pass the time. Let's make sure we got enough food and stuff. We do. So we're good there. But yeah, I, I got a little bit more money now. I'm, I'm pumped about that. Alright, ooh, we got, <laughs> we got a good army right here. Oh, who is this? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> okay, let's head south. Time for war, ladies and gentlemen. Time for war. Are we going to go try to take out Paris? Please tell me we're taking out Paris. Oh, we're just 
going around and destroying each village. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. I think this is probably Rebecca. My father will not permit you to see a... Okay. Oh, I'll come shortly. I, I love how shortly just FYI is 30 days. So, <laughs> plenty of time. Plenty of time to go over there. Yeah, see right there. So we got three enterprises and then our weekly salary of joining the United Kingdom for 19 <laughs> francs. Yeah, no, don't don't expect to get much from joining a faction right off the bat. You're going to want to be at pretty decent renown when you do that. Wow. Okay, so that quest has uh, been officially terminated. Um, all we are doing is apparently going and destroying some villages. By all means, um, I just leveled up a little bit too, and I got some money it looks like. And I leveled up, so man, we got a lot to go through. So anyways, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur Evans is back, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like we actually leveled up twice. I don't know, we just we just got a lot of good things going on right there. I just went through and uh, leveled up all the campaigns. It took a while, so that's why I cut out um, for that time being, because, you know... I don't know. I don't find that the most enjoyable to watch. But anyways, looking at Arthur Evans here, one thing I realize is having better inventory management might be good. Um, but I do want to continue to build up charisma because I want to have one of the largest armies as possible. And charisma and leadership improve your morale. Um, it's just one of the characters there. Um, I think as well your companions uh, charisma and leadership as well improve that too. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure there, so don't quote me on that, but if you if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, anyways, our agility stinks, but we're going to be on horseback because we're a captain. Um, we're actually a sergeant major right now, so we still got a little bit to go in order to rank up there but it should happen soon because we're at war with france so anyways let's uh let's see what we can do there i'm gonna do one right there let's see what two does okay it does actually improve our leadership so let's uh spend one right there and then i do want to do inventory management but that is um well we need more intelligence for that that's a shame um i might go with power strike riding would be good horse musketry would be good and there's just a lot that we need. So I might actually just save that one for the time being. And let's uh, carry on here. Um, so I don't know if we need to follow Surge on Hope anymore. Um, how many more men can we carry? 137. That's great. Man, we'll be able to do great things now. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if he has anything else here. Okay, let's see if we can suggest a course of action. Um... That would hardly be proper. It would be more appropriate for you to follow me instead. Do you have any other ideas? I actually don't know if one's pretty easy. But we all I know is we need to start taking some places. Let's see where we're actually close to. That place probably is actually pretty easy to take. So let's let's give them that false information that we can take that place. Um This might. If it goes badly, we should hold you responsible. Okay, that might go bad. So I think we're going to be going there, guys. We'll see how this goes. Uh, border incident. Oh, who cares? Oh, with Rhineland. Ooh, that should be interesting. Uh, why are we going this way? Uh, guys? <laughs> That's not good. Pierce Decos. Just leveled up. Of course, his name's going to be changing here soon, so don't worry about that. All right, clearly we're not going to be going that way. Um, let's see if we can help out here. 222. That's also my hopeful father, future father-in-law. Let's uh, actually go see if we can go help out there. So they're fighting. Let's go to the aid then. Okay. Okay, let's go to Arthur Wesley. I guess we're going to improve relations with him, but whatever. We're getting our first battle against France. 
and they have a lot of cavalry on <laughs> my allies do so let's see here let's uh let's grab my musketeers let's move them up here and one thing i did with my grenadiers is actually put them in their own group so that they could uh potentially get more experience um it looks like they're just charging in <laughs> so <laughs> i actually don't know how many men i do have out here not a lot i have a lot of musketeers so let's move them up let's have them uh, make radiant present so that they do move up and I'll join them oh yeah that's one other thing too that happened while I was away I actually lost my horse so yeah great day okay we suffered our first casualty our ally did at least well we just suffered <laughs> a few more right there let's see here oh two from my company dead uh, Let's see here. Oh, okay. I didn't tell him to come up this far. Okay. Let's have everybody come up here. Come on, let's move, move, move. Let's see if we can get a lucky shot in on here. Good thing I didn't accidentally kill anybody. Okay, let's keep moving up because our our men are well, our allies are up there. <laughs> They're probably thinking of us as cowards, so whatever. Oh man, they're all dying. All right, we'll charge in our cavalry if we have any. We have three. Oh yeah. Okay, let's uh let's have everybody in my company fire at will now because we're never gonna get any shots in if we don't. Looks like we have too many men around. <laughs> yeah, we're not even contributing. I don't even know if we even got a kill. Let's just have everybody charge in. Whatever. That was pretty lame on my part, but look at all this stuff, guys. Holy guns. If I don't make money from this, I don't I don't know what else will. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just gonna get ready to just start picking up guns and hopefully I can pocket them. So yeah, guys, it's kind of like look at the draw when you try to pocket things, just FYI, so. Don't take my word for it. Like, it's nice though. I'll just put it that way. Okay, uh, where's that last guy? Come on, guys. Oh, really? There's two guys left, and you guys are like riding around them. Look at that. Look at that. They're just riding all around them. I want to make money. That's the whole point of this, right? Really? There we go. Alright, so I usually wait until the victory thing comes up in the bottom left corner. And then pick it up. Whoops. And then, yeah, perfect. Oh, come on. We gotta go quick with this. Don't want to pick up musk cartridges. Come on, pocket it, pocket it. Say got item. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. Gotta make a little bit of cash for this. There we go. Come on! You got this. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it takes forever. I don't know, understand what, why that is. But whatever. We're probably only going to get one more after this one. Maybe. Maybe this one will be the last one. I know this is not the most exciting thing, but... It's nice. It's nice to make some cash. And when you don't have a place yet to call your own... Well, you gotta kinda do, kinda gotta do these things. Okay, we got two renowned right there. Uh, Arthur Wesley, we improve relations there. And we actually get him as a prisoner. I like that. Ooh, we gotta recruit some men. Okay, let's uh, get some uh, chosen riflemen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, veteran grenadiers, since we're trying to get, uh, what are they called? The foot guard. We got one right here. Perfect. Okay, 95th. Gonna definitely go for 95th. Um, these probably, guys are probably pretty good. So yeah, right there, we, we've replenished our reserves. Ooh, British Light. Oh, awesome. We've got Enzyme now. Basically a flag bearer for anybody who was wondering what that means. Uh, let's get the veterans first. All right, we can get one more. Who has the best hat? Oh, that guy has chops right there, so we'll, we'll take him. <laughs> oh, man. 
But yeah, we get, we got a few guns, not too many, but good amount. Got four Franks. Perfect. All right, awesome. Well, hey, that was actually that turned out really well, actually, right there. Um, so, anyways, I don't know if I should linger around here, continue continue to linger around here. I think I need people to follow me um, because I'm still rather small. So if these guys stay here, that's one thing. Um, it looks like Sir John Hope and Hil uh, Henry Clinton stayed. So I'm going to stay with them because that would be most wise. But there is a feast now. The king is, of course, requesting a feast in the time of war. Interesting. These guys might be going to Natal's. Yeah, they are. How big is it? Ooh. <laughs> Apparently I lied. Yeah, let's see here. How many men would we have? We're basically a little over 500. So we could we could take them on, but it would be very, very costly potentially. All right. Well, um, hmm. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys. I'll, I'll come back when there's something interesting going. All right, y'all. I'm back. Man, that took a little bit. So I actually went through and I finally outfitted all my companions, different outfits. We're we're gonna be putting them all into different positions. I really like this one actually. <laughs> Anyways, we're heading over to Dublin now. That's where Rebecca's at. So we need to see if we can quarter a little bit more. That's King George III. I mean, 800 men. Ridiculous. That's a ridiculous amount of men. That's awesome. Anyways, um, heading over here. We have tons of men up here. It's going to be impossible for the French to actually invade us. Anyways, let's make an attempt to visit the lady. Go with the nurse. All right, let's see how well this goes. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Oh, yeah. I'm on the table. <laughs> okay. Relations improved. Okay, let's see if she likes poetry. Yeah, yeah, she liked that one. So, anyways, there's not a whole lot else we can really do. Um, she says her father would never allow it. We must elope now. I, I think you have to be at a certain point to be able to do that. So, anyways, we're going to just say we're going to be able to change the father's mind, and let's move on. Okay, let's see if we can actually uh, go back to the military, military depot. I completely forgot to check if I could advance in rank. Uh, come on, Arthur Evans. Don't you write these things down? He's very forgetful, just like myself. All right, so let's uh, go over to the military depot. And then we need to fight. We need a battle. Um, so let's go into the, the depot. Let's go into the headquarters. Let's go see if this gentleman here will tell us that, hey, we have a promotion. Dang it. I guess I could have checked a little bit. Oh, yeah, just a little quick tidbit here. At least in this mod, I don't know if it's with all the mods or vanilla, actually. I, I haven't actually been paying attention. But all the ladies who are in the courts and everything else like that in this mod if I say how like can I have the honor to know about thee these women in the courts and whatever whenever you visit a town or whatnot are married in this mod so the only way that you can actually see the unmarried ladies is that bulls uh, and other things like that. So there's really not that high of opportunity to go see uh, the ladies <laughs> in this mod unless there's a ball. So make sure you go to one of those. But anyways, let's head south. Arthur Evans has been seeking blood and vengeance. And I know that the Dutch are also at war with France. So this route should be pretty open to head on over there. Um, and I realize we are probably running low on food and we also got a lot of random junk that we need to get rid of. Also, I need to get a lot of my companions some ammo because <laughs> I've been poor for so long. Still kind of poor, but not as bad. Um, but anyways, we need to get them ammo because they barely just got rifles for the first time. So let's see here. Let's, uh, let's sell all this junk right here. 
See if we're gonna get some cash for it. Yeah, 500 francs, nice. Okay, let's uh, get some food then. Get some bread and some grain and some grapes. We'll just we'll just get some grapes for fun. <laughs> okay, let's get some ammo real quick. So let's go to the gunsmith. Let's get some musket cartridges. Holy. Okay, we're gonna see if we can just pick some up when we <laughs> fight people. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, that was a lot. All right, let's see how close we actually are. Arthur Evans. He's at 200 right now, and he's not available for promotion. What? All right, so we got a Dutch army. We got Charles von Alten, who is the brother of Rebecca. Okay. So anyways, let's keep pushing south. Onward. Okay, another Dutch army. I'm kind of curious about uh, Liege. Alright, come on. 560. Man, these places are big. They're big, 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 big. We can't even really do anything right there. Okay, we're getting kind of deep into French territory now. Or relatively speaking. Considering that there's a lot of bandits and other things around, I think we're, for the most part, pretty safe. We got that large army right there. Who's pushing north? And we got a British army, it looks like, over there. Or a Holland army. Let's see who we can level up. I've been waiting to level up some of these veteran grenadiers. Where are they at? Right there. And they're just not leveling up, which is quite a problem. Okay. Let's see about Paris. Ooh, I wouldn't mind getting in a battle with him. That would be quite a hard battle. Okay, I think we got his attention. Yeah, we do. Arthur Evans, prepare for war. Okay, let's uh, level up everybody, actually, that we can. Uh, let's keep going Grenadiers, because <laughs> I just want to get those Grenadiers leveled up. Um, and this might be the battle for that. So, this is really depleting my reserves, but you know what? It, it's time. It's about time that we... Ooh, why did I do that? <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking. Okay. Okay, so here goes nothing, guys. Whew. We'll fight you to the end. All right. Oh, we're definitely outnumbered. They're coming towards us. So let's uh, get our musketeers right here. Let's grab our um, grenadiers right there. Let's grab our sharpshooters, put them up a little bit higher on the mountainside. Okay, they probably have artillery. That's my best guess. Oh, shoot. Come on, guys. Move up. Move up. Go, go, go. Move, move. Why are we all sticking around here? Go, move, move. Gosh dang. Okay. Let's put you guys all in a better position because this is crappy right here. Okay. Let's move you musketeers back over here. We got our first kill. Good. Okay. Cavalry, move off to the flanks right now. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got auxiliary infantry, or that's auxiliary cavalry. Let's grab our auxiliary infantry and put them over there if we can. Okay, they are charging with their cavalry. Okay. Oh, of course our ensign will go down. Wait, I need my rifle too. <laughs> All right. Gonna keep the ensign. Come on, men. Let's see how this is actually going. Okay, let's grab our cavalry, and we're going to have to lead them around to take out the artillery. I was not reloading. Did I seriously just drop my... Oh, shoot. Are you serious? Well, this isn't good. Okay, where's my rifle? There it is. Okay. I'm going to drop this pistol. Let's pick up some musket cartridges. Thank you. 
Let's see how we're doing. We're, how we're doing. How we're doing. Killed 54 of them already. Awesome. And I'm not even really leading them in at all. That's great. Okay. Three. Okay, we got our cavalry. Let's bring them on over here. And let's have them charge in. I'm not reloading. That's great. <laughs> this is not going well. Arthur Evans in his first major battle with France. And he's not doing too hot. Okay, man. Face forward. Face forward. Okay, let's have our officers charge in because they're just crazy like that am i finally reloaded yet yeah i am okay let's have cavalry charge in now I probably lost a few of them come on guys stop shooting back there at the retreating units okay how are we doing how are we doing we've killed 91 of them man we're doing great this guy's coming up right towards us i'm gonna try to take him out real quick Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, come on, come on. Oh, did I shoot? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is pathetic. It's been so long since Arthur Evans has been in a battle, he doesn't know what to do. Okay, that guy's mine right there. Once I'm done reloading. Just imagine being in a real battle right here. I mean, Arthur Evans is just like, oh. It's been so long. He missed. He missed. Okay, let's uh, let's see how our cavalry is doing up there. Yeah, we're losing quite a few of them, so let's have them right off over here. I want to preserve as many as we possibly can. I realize I did not send the doctor back here at all. He's still alive, though. Arthur Evans. Man, you're a terrible shot. Oh, look at that! Look at my companions! Just charging in there. Oh, man. Look at that! Oh, my gosh! I think that's Katrin! <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. And I miss again. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see if we can take out somebody at point... Okay, we're not going to take him out. <laughs> This is embarrassing. I can't even hit the brass of a barn. Okay, whatever. We're going to charge in there with our enzyme. Let's see if we can go take this guy out. Nope. Okay, whatever. Forget this. Uh, how is it looking for us? We've lost 24 to death. I'm just charging in there. I don't care anymore. If I die, tell my wife. Actually, I'm not married. Tell my fiance. No, she's she's not my fiance. Tell my secret girlfriend I love her. No, I'm not fast enough. <laughs> oh gosh, Arthur Evans, your first battle after such a long waiting time. You're anxious. You're foolish. You're silly. Okay, let's have our cavalry charge in now. I think we should be able to take out people. Let's actually just have everybody charge in. Because they'll be able to get closer and actually fire in. We're probably going to get shot, but that's okay. Because Arthur Evans looks just awesome. I can't do that. I need to be on horseback. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. I can't run after you. Alright. You've left me no choice. Oh, let's see how long it will be until Arthur Evans can shoot. Come on, Arthur. You got this shot. You got this shot. Come on. Nope. <laughs> I need to probably aim a little bit higher. Ah, one guy left, and that's that guy I missed. Wow, <laughs> a little rusty there, Arthur. A little rusty. Well, I mean, if you've only been running around fulfilling quests for the last four hours before all this recording, man, I think you'll probably do a little bit better. <laughs> Come on, guys, take him out. Take him out. For reals. 
Ugh. Okay, guys, he's right there. Reorder you guys a charge. How about this? Use melee weapons. Everybody charge. Thank you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it over our men. That's right. Victory. Victory. Victory for king and country. Okay. 16 renown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what you look for. This is what you look forward to. Being able to loot all this stuff. Even though it's not that expensive once you get down to this crappy stuff at the bottom. It's nice. It's nice to be able to be able to make some money and actually win a battle. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, Arthur Evans needs a little break, a little rest before he can get back to it. So anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to give this episode a thumbs up. And for the renewed war with the United Kingdom and France, this is Crookalicious checking out.